Yeah, I'm curious to see, you know, what's what's next for Baker? Because like you said, you know, all sides, this was the perfect divorce. Like there was animosity, there was no going back, and at the end of it, everybody had to pay some money. So the Browns had to pay some money, the Panthers had to pay some money, and Baker had to pay some money. So he will be an unrestricted free agent after this season. And I am curious to see just what's next for his career. Obviously, in large, it'll depend on what happens this season. If he somehow puts He'll be together, on the roster no matter what. but For sure, but starter, you know, franchise quarterback, bridge quarterback, backup quarterback, for there's sure, so I mean, many different he'd be a, For sure, he's, he's going to be a starter, and for sure he's going to be a bridge quarterback, maybe. But, uh, but during his tenure as their bridge, if he proves otherwise, he might be the guy. You know what I mean? So it's more of a... The ball's in Baker's court. Yeah, you know it what is. I mean? And it's up to him to prove everybody wrong. So going back to a couple of podcasts ago, and we were talking a little bit about this before the show with Coach JB, right? And he was saying that he would night and day rather have Darnold over Baker. And I don't know if that was him being sincere. I don't know if that was him playing up to it. I don't know. I don't see a conceivable way. And the Panthers haven't named Baker the starter but Baker's going to be the starter, right? Am I crazy to think that the Panthers wouldn't have made that trade knowing that they're, oh, we don't know what we're going to do. Baker is starting week one against the Browns. That's fifth-round pick, though, you know, conditional. He has to play 70% of the snaps. So depending on how he comes off his injury or, you know, how much this battle. And don't forget, Sam going to have a chip on his shoulder now, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Y'all brought me in here to think I'm the guy. Now you trade for another QB and you're going to make us go for it. So, yeah, they're going to go for it and we're going to see. You know what I mean? So, I mean, both of them are first round picks. Yeah, literally so, two yeah, picks I apart from each other. I think it's going to be a. Uh, they need to get um, the freaking uh, hard knocks there this year. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. I think they already said I think they already said I don't think the Panthers are on hard knocks, but man, that would be awesome. Yeah, get that Ooh. QB battle in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be Baker solely because there is still, and it's bizarre to say four years through the league, there is some unknown left with Baker. With Sam Darnold, you know what you have. Like, can yeah. we be real with each other? We know that the dude just isn't that good. We've seen it with two different organizations now. With Baker, however, we've seen the bad and we seen plenty of it but we've also seen sparks of good and I think like we talked about last week in our bets with Matt Rule being so on the hot seat and you know he is the Vegas odds on favorite on bet jack training camp to be the first coach fired he knows I'm gonna roll the dice with this kid he is a bit of an unknown and I know that the dude that I had before ain't cutting it so I gotta get Baker in here to start it's, it's a great the move for the position he's in it's a great move because you brought in a guy that didn't pan out. Yep. So it makes you more in the hot seat. All right. The guy didn't pan out, and I, I thought he was good. Let's see if we can light a fire under him and, and get that out of him, you know, the, the, yeah. the tape we saw that made us want to trade for him. Bro, I mean, the last time that – Baker Mayfield and Matt Rule were on the field together was Oklahoma versus, versus Baylor, Baylor yeah. when Baker told them pregame, you forgot who daddy was. I'm going to have to spank you today. And, that, and then Baker did go off and have a really yeah, good Matt game. Matt Rule so. went to go get daddy. <laughs> yeah. He went to go get daddy. <laughs> yeah, so, so that, was the, that was the last time. So I do think there is probably something to that, that Matt Rule has just been familiar with Baker's nuttiness for such a long time that he was willing to stomach and ready to ready to roll with it. Yeah, it'll be an interesting uh, QB battle. I don't say neither one of them is a starter right now. They're going to figure it out. I don't agree with you there. I think Baker's a starter. I think he has to be. Yeah.